Hey, good morning, guys. If you think you already know the difference between a sheet bend and a bowline, then this video is for you. I think you'll be very surprised. Decades ago, the bowline came to national attention, where you got a little badge through Scouting America. If, while blindfolded, with one arm tied behind your back, you could tie a bowline around your waist. The bowline found its niche as a way to tie a fixed loop at the end of a rope that won't slip or come undone. And it's easy to untie even when wet, which is why it's used in sailing all the time. Now here's how you tie it if you have two hands available. Make a loop, and then this end goes through here, and behind, and back through. Notice that um, you've actually got four ends. One, two, three, and four, with two and four happen to be tied together as the loop. And then flip it over and then look at this. I want you to look at this appearance. You see that? Just pay attention and try and remember that appearance. We're going to see the same thing in a moment. Now we're going to move on to the sheet bend. This one is used to tie two ropes together end to end, and it works even if the ropes are of unequal size. The knot shares similar properties to the bowline. It won't come undo, undone under tension. It's easy to untie even when wet, and it rarely slips. Here's how you tie it. You go around like this. And then if we were to go in here, that would be the reef knot. But instead of going that way, we're going to slide it under here, like so. You see that? Now, if, I want you to look at this knot closely. There are four ends, one, two, three, and four. And here's what it looks like from below. And here's the knot from the other angle. Does that look familiar? The sheet bend is a bowline. They're the same knot. So there we go. The sheet bend and the bowline are the same knot. There's no trick here. Try it yourself. Say, if I earned your like today, then let me know. Feedback makes it easier for others to find these videos. Thanks for watching.